All right, guys, we got Dave Rubin. Um, Dave Rubin is begrudgingly pro-weed. Begrudgingly. And he's, he said this about a number of, like, lefty. I think at one point you say, I'm begrudgingly pro-choice. I don't know if he uses the words begrudgingly here, but you're going to see his his commentary shows that that description is accurate. So let's listen to what he had to say. This should be good. Um, people can smoke weed if you want to smoke weed. I don't think kids should be smoking weed. Um, you know, the counter to that, that has become an uncomfortable truth to me. So I will say up front, okay. At least he said, "If go ahead and smoke weed if you want to smoke weed. All right, look, I'm a fair dude. And I think that's a fair point. But he's about to drive it into a ditch. Is that in the places where weed has become legal, um, it does seem that there's now a correlation with the general sort of collapse of society. Like where when L.A. legalized it, it's like L.A. started getting work. New York City like smells like weed. It used to smell like homeless people. Now they got homeless people plus weed. Yeah, wouldn't the weed part be good then? The weed what kind of masks the homeless people sometimes. In the summer, it's the reverse. Um, okay, that's people it. Can... It leads to the general collapse of society if you legalize weed. There's a correlation there. Legal Legality of cannabis. The legality of cannabis for medical and recreational use varies by country in terms of possession, distribution, and cultivation, and in regards to medical, how it can be consumed and what medical conditions it can be used for. These policies in most countries are regulated by the by three United Nations treaties. They go on to explain those treaties. Um, cannabis is classified as a Schedule One drug under the Single Convention Treaty, meaning the signatories can allow medical use, but that it is considered to be an addictive drug with a serious risk of abuse. Then they go on to say, uh, we could skip this part here. Oh, okay, no, we can't because that's where the list of countries is. That's what I'm looking for, by the way. Um, the use of cannabis for recreational purposes is prohibited in most countries. However, many have used a policy of de decriminalization to make simple possession a non-criminal offense, often similar to a minor traffic violation. Others have much more severe penalties, such as some Asian and Middle Eastern countries where possession of an even small amounts of uh, even small amounts is punished by imprisonment for several years. Jesus Christ. Countries that have legalized recreational use of cannabis are Canada. Canada. The hellscape of Canada, which has completely imploded and collapsed recently. Uh, he actually probably would argue they have because of what went down with the um, the trucker protest and the crackdown on the trucker protest. Georgia, Malta, Mexico, South Africa, and Uruguay plus 18 states, two territories, and the District of Columbia in the United States, and the Australian Capital Territory in Australia. Um, commercial sale of recreational cannabis is legalized nationwide in two countries, Canada and, U and Uruguay, Uruguay, however you pronounce it, and in all subnational U.S. jurisdictions that have legalized possession except Washington, D.C., a policy of limited enforcement has also been adopted in many countries, in particular the Netherlands, where the state of cannabis is tolerated at licensed coffee shops. So, look, I'll leave it to you guys. Canada, Australia, the Netherlands, are these, like, totally non-salvageable, um, collapsed societies? Or is Dave Rubin an idiot? And is Dave Rubin a right-wing ideologue? Who, even when he disagrees with the right-wing policy, he can't help but jerk off that right-wing policy. Um, and by the way, they go on to say, the countries that legalize it for medical use... Now, that is sort of a bullshit distinction, because back to go to California as the example, um, when they had it legal for medical use, it actually was legal for recreational use, because you go to a doctor, you get a bullshit prescription, I don't know, my back hurts, here, get some weed. And so that's what happens. When you legalize it for medical use, it's like a roundabout way to legalize it really for recreational use. So when you include those countries, you also have Argentina, Australia, Barbados, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Croatia, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark, Ecuador, Finland, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Israel, Italy. Israel! Dave Rubin loves Israel! He loves Israel. But apparently, it's a collapsed society. Um, Italy, Jamaica, Lebanon, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malawi, Malta, the Netherlands, New Zealand, North Macedonia, Norway, Panama, Peru, Poland, Portugal, Rwanda, St. Vincent, and the uh, Grenadines... San Marino, Sri Lanka, Switzerland, Thailand, the United Kingdom, <laughs> Uruguay, uh, it goes on and on and on. Anyway, yeah, look, do a lot of these countries have severe problems? Yes, well, every country, every government has severe problems. Are the problems derived from people expressing the freedom to put in their body 
something that doesn't hurt anybody else. No. And Dave Rubin loves to harp away on the fact that he's like a libertarian and the fact that he believes in freedom. And then when it comes to an issue that is nothing but a freedom issue, all of a sudden he's like, I'll allow it, but it sort of leads to the collapse of society. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Dave Rubin is a joke. There is no core there. Uh, he's just sort of oscillating in the wind, and he's lost in the wilderness. And his brain farts become segments or interviews. And it's nothing but fodder for all of us to laugh at. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.